Amen. Glorious praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glorious. Amen. Hallelujah. Evangelist Andrew Kelly here once again with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Amen. Praise God. The power of God and sal to salvation to everyone that believes. Praise God. Glorious. Praise God. Amen. We have to believe the Bible. Amen. Praise God. Jesus said, "Repent ye and believe the gospel." Amen. Praise God. A lot of people don't want to do that. They don't want to repent. They want to go on in the darkness. And Jesus said that man loved the darkness more than the light. Amen. Praise God. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. Amen. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. If we claim we have fellowship with Him and walk in sin, walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Amen. Praise God. A lot of liars out there you know it's that they claim they can't stop sinning. They claim that uh, uh, they can't be righteous. They claim they uh, can't be perfect. They can't be this. They can't be that, and so forth and so on. Well, they're uh, making the uh, word of God of uh, none effect uh, through their uh, traditions, through their ways. You know, that's it, praise God. But they're quick. These people are so quick to stand up for their sin, stand up to say that it's all right because God loves you, and they're so quick to endorse their sin, but they're not quick at all to endorse the word of God. They're not quick at all to endorse the gospel. Uh, these people are nothing but uh, liars, uh, sorcerers, uh, they said the idolaters, like the Pope and uh, the Protestant system, no better, Jehovah's Witness, Mormons, all in the same boat, all in the same lines, you know, sit all the same unbelief, all have the same doctrines of devils and seducing spirits, the same Bibles almost, uh, you know, praise God, because uh, these people are making merchandise for you, using feigned words, you know, one's using Mary, and another one is uh, using, uh, well, praise God, funny Bibles, or uh, uh, the funny TV evangelists, is to give me money, give me money, give me money for my surgery and for my this and so forth and so on or for the uh, the uh, uh, sports club of the church or the uh, hockey club of the church and so forth and so on. Well, if the club that they need is to be clubbed on the head with the Bible. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So it's a convert. Praise God, glory, praise God. Because there's no, uh, when, not one scripture tells us is the, the church's responsibility to entertain us with the world and feed us with the world. The Bible says we're here to uh, tell them the difference between the holy and the profane. A lot of profane out there love profane in the churches and uh, that's it they got philosophy Sunday school and church camps and so forth and so on holidays and Jesus said that my word have no place in you and they have uh, sing song services and concerts and uh, so forth and so on and rock concerts and so forth and so on and just act like the world act in the way that the world wants them to live and so forth and so on and uh, the way the world wants you to live is uh, an abomination you know, it's the whole world life and wickedness praise God praise God, praise God. And when Jesus wants you to live and then praise God to Free from sin, you mean, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, as he told people, go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon thee, you know, praise God, in me, you shall have peace, and praise God, uh, Jesus wants you to live according to uh, the Bible, and God wants you to live, praise God, through Jesus Christ, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, we could be like him, he does say if uh, 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 he knows him and keeps not his commandments, he's a liar, First John chapter 2, and praise God, that's it, praise God, I was just preaching about this to somebody here on uh, Facebook, and let me touch on this right here, Hereby do we know him if we keep his commandments. He does say, if I know him, he keep not his commandments. Is a liar, and the truth is not in him. You know, praise God, how many liars up there? They can't, uh, they know, they, they claim they can't be perfect. They, claim they can't be righteous. They can't be sanctified. They can't be uh, worthy of the Lord. They can't be uh, uh, this and that. They can't stop sinning. They're, they're, they uh, can't stop doing the devil's will to sin. Uh, yet they're so quick to stand up for it, but they're not quick at all to stand for the Bible. I mean, praise God, they're not reaching for the Bible. They're reaching for a book of and uh, Greeks and Hebrews and so forth and Latins uh, just as an excuse to stay in their sin to find a Greek word to find uh, out the, what the Greek word says uh, so that they can make sure they can stay in sin and it's, everything's going to be alright like a Hollywood gospel uh, Amen for God which is absolute abomination if any man consent not to the wholesome words even the words of the Lord Jesus Christ is proud knowing nothing from the God's world plant their minds uh, which is the uh, praise God the gospel of Christ no praise God is it you know is uh, when that uh, is going to open up your uh, eyes, praise God, your understanding, glory, praise God. But, uh, you know, the God of this world have blinded their minds. That's the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God. You know, praise God, uh, Christ the image. You know, praise God, uh, uh, Paul said that uh, he was a, his uh, image or form, you know, praise God, God. And, uh, glory, praise God, he wasn't God. He was a form, an image, you know, a representation, an ambassador, praise God, glory, praise God, a, a representation. You know, praise God, yes, I may not have uh, Jesus on my... Uh, uh, or the Queen, I should say, uh, on my penny. You know, first God, we don't have anything that re represents our Heavenly Father's kingdom. I don't have uh, one picture of Jesus because the Bible says we know him no more after the flesh. And it says in Exodus 20 that uh, not to have anything that uh, resembles anything in the likeness of heaven. And uh, uh, he had no form of covenant or beauty that he should be desired. And even Jesus said that this flesh profited nothing. It's the words I speak. People still have a picture of Jesus as if he were still around. You know, first God, they have like a, a painting of a person or a picture or a photograph and so forth and so on. 
you know, praise God, uh, I said people still keep it after them, uh, after, after they die, if uh, their uh, dear uncle, you know, from 100 years ago, so forth and so on, uh, you know, or 50 years ago, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, amen, that's it, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, praise God, that's it, but, uh, uh, but to have pictures of Jesus, you know, say that's Jesus, it's an absolute lie, it's a guy with a beard, and they're trying to say that's the shroud of Turin, which is nothing but uh, a piece of uh, cloth, uh, that's it, uh, somebody uh, uh, just uh, became a little bit, uh, I guess, a little bit of artistic uh, quality in them, whether it be Michelangelo, I don't know, uh, that they claim it's Jesus, and uh, that it was uh, from uh, the, the days after the crucifixion, and so forth and so on. Well, it's not going to do any good, you know, that's it, how live for his God, that's it, it's not going to do any good to have this thing. Uh, Shroud of Turin, you know, first God, first God, uh, amen, first God, said, the Bible hasn't done you any good. Do you think the Shroud's going to do you any better? <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, that's it, first God, the Bible hasn't at all turned you around. Uh, amen, first God, that said, if uh, the words of spirit and life, the gospel of Christ, which is the power of God and salvation, haven't turned you around, well, you think those other things are going to turn you around? Absolutely not. You know, it's just going to make you worse. You know, first God, said, uh, iniquity unto iniquity. And how many people believe the Shroud Turin over the word of God? In Galatians, God, Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone in Matthew 4.4, 4, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And this is what man don't want to live by, uh, by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. They're uh, living by uh, what the Muslims say, you know, that's it, that, uh, what, uh, uh, what Muhammad says or uh, uh, what uh, somebody else says. And Jesus said, If another man comes in my name, another person comes in his, no, his name, I should say, uh, him you receive, you know, God, that which is highly esteemed among men is the abomination of God. You know, people know uh, about Bob Hope, and uh, and they like Bob Hope, and so forth and so on. And uh, uh, you know, for God, uh, which is uh, which is great. You know, he's a good comedian. You know, for God, that's it, course, for God. But uh, you know, and uh, great, you know, Bob Hope, or they know uh, uh, Jim Carrey, or they know uh, uh, the Jay Leno's and the Dave Letterman's, and so forth and so on. Uh, but they don't know me. My first God, my I mean, God says it's that my people doth not know me. You know, for God, those silly, laden people. You know, for God, that's it. The ox knows his master's crib, and uh, that's it. For God, and for uh, uh, God, that's it. And uh, the uh, uh, the animals know uh, where they go, and uh, you know, for God, the dog knows his owner. And uh, Isaiah chapter uh, one tells you that, uh, but they don't know me. You know, the sin. That's the problem with Christianity. You don't want to get in the Bible. You know, for my sheep hear my voice. Jesus said, first God, how first God, he came forth from God, uh, and then first God, that's it, and uh, uh, in uh, Isaiah chapter 1, it says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken and nursed and brought up children, and, and they have rebelled against me. The ox know of his owner, and he asked his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. You know, first God, a sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors, and they have forsaken the Lord, and have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They've gone away backwards. And it's so true that they're professing that Jesus is God. He said the Son of God. They've gone so backwards. They've gone so back. And the Bible says is that they're uh, that, uh, deceived and being deceived. And that's it. And praise God. That's it. Uh, and they uh, just going on from iniquity to iniquity. Praise God. Amen. Glory Praise God. We're going on to amen, righteousness, unto holiness, unto glory, unto glory. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going on to uh, amen. Praise God. Unto the word. We're looking on to Jesus. We're not looking on to. Uh, Anything else, you know, praise God, we're not looking on to, uh, uh, looking on to uh, anything else, you know, we're not looking on to God, the Bible says not looking, it doesn't say looking on to God to find out for, no, looking on to Jesus, because Jesus is the one uh, that uh, received all the power and the glory, praise God, that's it, and all power is given to him in heaven and earth, and that all things are made subject under him, praise God, and that's it, because praise God, the people don't want that, you know, they don't want uh, God to, for God or Jesus for uh, the Son of God, you know, the sin for his God. And people are trying to bypass Jesus or trying to talk about God, and they think that they can get away scot free by talking by talking about God. You know, for his God, the sin. And the, the Muslims talk about God, and the Christians talk about God, and the Muslims are trying to, you know, uh, try any angle they can get in to, uh, to the Christians to, to be there to Christians. And the Christians nowadays are, are starting to uh, listen to the Muslims and follow the Muslims and say that they were, uh, there was a misunderstanding years ago. There was this thing on TV that uh, some uh, crazy. Uh, Bible philosophers and scholars and, and theologians, you know, said that there was a mistake and that they're actually brothers and so forth and so on. Well, you know, uh, you know, I believe that uh, Mickey Mouse is uh, more brother than uh, the Muslims are. You mean that's it? Because these people are nothing but killers. The Ishmaelites are killers. You know, that's it. Praise God. But Christianity is going that way because they have the same uh, unbelief. You know, that's it. They, got, they talk about God, but they don't want to talk about the Son of God. You know, praise God. That's it. Because uh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life. People don't want the way. You know, praise God, they just want to, you know, praise God, they just want to, the way that a man has, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but always the end ways to death. 
know, praise God. And this uh, prophecy of the uh, scripture is uh, not at all for any personal um, uh, interpretation. You know, it's, it's not for, uh, uh, you know, uh, you to make a go down the street and make a church out of and just uh, believe in some things and don't believe the rest of the things. No, no, no. No, praise God. We've got to believe everything from Genesis to Revelation, from the first word of Genesis to the last word of Revelation. Uh, amen. Where it says, Amen. Praise God. Even so, come, our Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. We've got to believe. Uh, all that, praise God, course, praise God. Because you don't believe it, you know, praise God, the Bible says, uh, is, is that uh, all unbelieving is going to burn, like burn fire brimstone. Unbelieving, which goes into witchcraft, which goes to uh, stubbornness and iniquity and idolatry, because thou has rejected the word of the Lord, and uh, that's it, praise God. And uh, people, you know, that's it, they don't know before and after the cross. That's why they're so confused. That's why that, uh, they, uh, they're, so, they're still keeping the Sabbath days. And the Bible says is that uh, we are not justified anymore by the law. For the law of the Spirit of in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. We're not justified by what Moses says. It's now God be in you. No, praise God. The tables of the heart, the tables of the flesh. You know, praise God. No longer tables of stone anymore. Praise God. It's got to be in you. Praise God. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Praise God. That's why Jesus said, is that, uh, come unto me, all you that are laden, and I will give you rest. Praise God. Because uh, Romans 10, uh, verse 4 says that Christ is the end of the law of righteousness to everyone that believes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, the problem with Christianity is that they uh, still got the law of Moses. They're still celebrating the feast days, the tabernacle days, and the, and the whatever days, and so forth and so on. And they're still looking at Jesus walking the earth 2,000 years ago because they're still uh, rhyming off scriptures. You know, why did uh, Peter say, you know, that said, bow down? Uh, and Jesus said, uh, you know, stand up uh, because I'm a man, so forth and so on. Well, it's because you're still looking at Jesus that uh, still uh, walking the earth 2,000 years ago. Yet we know him no more after the flesh. Second Corinthians 5.17. Henceforth, no, we know him more, no more after flesh. He that we, though we know Christ after flesh, yet know we him no more. But people, uh, they don't uh, at all want to take heed. Uh, they uh, want to think that uh, uh, they uh, still walk with Christ that's walking the earth 2,000 years ago. Well, you can't. You know, sit. You absolutely can't. You know, sit. You, you can't walk with uh, Christ 2,000 years ago. You can't walk with your great, 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 great grandfather who died uh, 200 or 300 years ago. You know, so, so praise God. So we know him no more after flesh. Praise God. We've got to be in you. We see, uh, then be risen with Christ. Seek those things which are above, or Christ sit on the right hand uh, power of God in uh, Colossians chapter 3. You know, praise God. Praise God. Then. You know, people out there, you know, they're not seeking those things above. They're seeking those things that are below. And Jesus said is that man's hearts are failing and the waves of the oceans are roaring. And that's it uh, because they're seeking those things which are coming upon the earth. They're not seeking those things which are above. Praise God. They're not watching. You know, praise God. For since the fathers have fallen asleep, Peter says, uh, this is it, that they fall asleep and all things continue on as they were. Uh, and that this is what the church has done. It's fallen asleep. Church of the hours falling asleep. Big time, you know, that's it. Uh, they uh, have no need of nothing because they were uh, wretched, miserable. Uh, you know, that's it, uh, uh, you know, that's it, uh, poor, and uh, it says in uh, Revelations, you know, that's it, that's what they are, naked, and so forth and so on, uh, because they have no Bible, they have no more cloak for their sin, you know, for this guy, they're out there, and they're out there uh, doing it, and so forth and so on, and uh, Paul says, if I uh, build up the things which I destroyed, I become a transgressor, well, we have so many transgressors uh, out there, but we don't have hardly any doers, we got to be a doer of the Word of God, praise God, to get in your Bible, Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Not to get into the Catholic Church. It says to come out from among them. Be separate, save the Lord. You know, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come out from among them, my people, and I will receive you. What does Christ have to do with the Pope? With uh, uh, Bilal? With, uh, with uh, Muhammad? With the Muslims? Absolutely nothing. You know, praise God. Glory to God. And what does, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, you know what, uh, light have to do with darkness? Absolutely nothing. You know, praise God. That's it. Praise God. You know, the Muslims, they can't believe he's the Son of God. Uh, they, they're, just, they're just as bad as the Christians. They've still connected Christ 2,000 years ago. Uh, you know, when he says this is that uh, there's none uh, greater but God. Well, that's right. You know, Jesus didn't die yet. You know, he didn't rise again from the dead. He was uh, when he rose again from the dead, not Muhammad. Muhammad is still dust and ashes. He's still uh, a dead dog in uh, Mecca. Uh, I mean, that's it. And, uh, and uh, uh, they, uh, uh, they're just hauling around nothing but a box. You know, it's a box, uh, a box full of uh, bones and ashes. You know, so praise God. But God, praise God. Amen. I'm hauling I'm I'm hauling around. Holiness, the Word of God, praise God, that's it, glory, praise God, my Bible, and it's in me, praise God, glory, praise God, because I'm the, the temple of the living God, praise God, that's it, you know, we are the temple of the living God now, praise God, not uh, we that are dwelling in the temple of the Lord anymore, praise God, it's now that the Lord wants to dwell in us, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, and that's it, uh, because uh, uh, he sent his son, and uh, he's reconciled the whole world unto him, and amen, praise God, and that's it, he became the mediator of the new covenant, because he's the one who died on the cross, nailed to the cross. Not Muhammad. Muhammad wasn't nailed to the cross. It was Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, praise God. Not, uh, not God. God was never nailed to the cross because Jesus said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So, uh, God forsaken him, uh, who is, in, who is uh, crying on the cross? And, you know, Jesus said, Be therefore perfect as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. You know, if God was in heaven, then who was, uh, 
and who's talking to them? You don't say who is in heaven if 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 uh, if Jesus died. It makes no sense. You know, it's, it only makes sense in a delusion in a, in a in church gospel and a delusion of the Trinity, uh, but not in the gospel of the, uh, Christ, the King James Bible. And praise God, glory, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, I'm going to uh, read in James. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And it says is that. Um, um, verse uh, 14, What doth it profit, my brethren? Though a man say he hath faith, and have not works, can faith save him? You know, praise God, how he's got faith. Can it save him? No. The whole world has faith. You know, they have faith that, uh, uh, that there's going to be a tomorrow. They have faith that, uh, you know, that's it, that, uh, that uh, at the 12 o'clock that they're going to be uh, meeting for a, a noon uh, uh, interview. They have faith that, uh, uh, you know, praise God, in that uh, uh, in their uh, uh, in their Hollywood stars, no praise God. That's it. That the, that the show is going to go off perfectly, uh, so forth and so on. Uh, you know, that's it. It's the faith that the world has. You no, know, it's a uh, faithless faith. You no know, praise God. That faith that uh, you know, praise God. That this pill, that this new drug is going to do wonders for them, and so forth and so on. Yeah, it's going to do wonders. It can uh, land you uh, in uh, in the grave. You know, it's, it's, it's for sure being cast into hell. You know, it's that your breath is in the hand of God, and that your temple is uh, temple of God, and. Uh, Amen. Defile his temple, him shall God destroy and present you by his living sacrifice, only acceptable unto God. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed with renewing of your mind. People don't want to be transformed, they want to be conformed to the world. Well, I'm here to tell you to transform, to read your Bible. Praise God, please, praise God, read your Bible. As Jesus is coming back, you know, praise God, said that the trump of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Praise God, and Jesus said the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Then you hear God, you're going to hear his voice. Not going to hear Muhammad's voice, not going to hear uh, uh, Joseph Smith's, Smith's voice of the. Uh, uh, of the uh, more of the uh, uh, Mormons or Charles Russell of the Jehovah Witness uh, uh, or uh, uh, or whatever uh, Wesley uh, whatever what's his name uh, the uh, uh, one who another philosopher dreamer you know said to who uh, uh, doesn't believe that the ending of Mark 16 and parts of the Bible are wrong and so forth and the Greek is wrong and so forth and so on and uh, the problem with these Bible uh, teachers these Bible scholars is that they're so blinded by their uh, Greeks and Hebrews and so forth and so on. That, uh, that they're absolutely too wise for God to use. He said, I'll choose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And in Jeremiah 18, Jeremiah went to the potter's house, and that uh, he uh, was told to go to the potter's house to hear the word of the Lord. He wasn't told to go into some seminary, to some church somewhere, to some singing church, or some singing choir, or to some church with uh, a nice uh, waterfall display, or a nice cross on it, or whatever, you know, it's it, uh, which is a tree anyways, because he took Jesus off the cross anyway. So, and this is what the problem with Christianity is that they're still using the cross and say that it's got something in it. Well, this is the cross that we're told to uh, bear, to carry. All those who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You know, because God insists. But uh, Christianity today, they love their cross, and they love their crosses. And uh, you remember, God is it. That's it. And that's why uh, the Bible uh, doesn't make any sense to them, uh, because this is that they're so carnal and they the world of the world speak they of the world you go into Christian chat rooms and what are they doing they're just speaking things to the world you know it's it praise God they're just speaking what they did in Sunday school or what they had for breakfast uh, or so forth and so on and you put some scripture up then they want to shut you down and they want to keep you quiet because uh, they uh, don't want to hear it you know it's it praise God they don't want to hear it uh, you know, it's it uh, uh, preachers uh, uh, going to church uh, you know, have to be in uh, Bible school and cemeteries and seminaries for three years, five years, ten years, whatever, and to uh, get experience uh, so that uh, they can go out and deceive more people. And then Jesus said that you can pass sea and land to make one proselyte. So God, then you make them twofold more, the child of hell. You go to Africa, you go all over the world. Well, I don't have to go to Africa. I just go down the road. Hallelujah, praise God, because there's people down the road that need this more than the people in Africa. I mean, that's just people in Africa. You know, that's it. The money doesn't go to them anyways. It goes to their uh, corrupted church organizations uh, who love their filthy lucre. It goes to uh, the popes and to the nuns and to the cardinals and to whoever, to to uh, you know, to whoever, and that's it. That's the phony uh, ministries a lot of times. And it goes to these uh, corrupt people and whatever food uh, does get through. The dictators take... Uh, the uh, the best the cream of the crop and uh, you know and if uh, a grain of rice uh, would even make it that far you know even if a grain of rice was thrown around you know they probably might get that uh, grain of dry rice and that's just about probably all they get you know of the warehouses and they got all these uh, militaries and so forth and so on and uh, uh, that uh, you know that are fighting against each other you know this is for food because you got these Christians who want to give these these people and then you got these other people from these other countries that are uh, saying no you don't feed us uh, the Muslims first and so forth and so on because they rejected Christ you remember Scott, they rejected his word and that's what we're doing here in North America you know so we're having trouble with the Muslims trouble with this one and that one so forth and so on because you have rejected the word of the Lord 
and uh, he'll send a nation whose tongue thou canst not understand, who will eat up your oil and uh, fish and so forth and so on. And we're having that with the Muslims and the Chinese and all these other uh, cultures coming into Canada uh, because they've not taken heed to the Word of God. You know, because God goes through God and that's it. They, they uh, want to yell at me, uh, get mad at me uh, because they have a Bible and so forth and so on. And, uh, you know, uh, Christianity, you know, uh, I don't conform to modern Christianity, and that's what they hate. You know, so they want me to conform to their ways. You know, for God said, Jesus never conformed to the Pharisees. He said, Woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees, and hypocrites. Amen, for God, for he can pass the land to make one proselyte. Woe unto you. Amen, for God, in uh, Matthew uh, chapter uh, 23, for, uh, you know, for God, that's it, that uh, uh, for uh, you say and do not. You know, for God, uh, you know, uh, woe unto you. You know, that's it, that uh, you, uh, have uh, the your most uh, beautiful clothing, but you're just making a show of it. You know, it's just uh, uh, you know, it's to say that you're uh, um, a rabbi and so forth and so on. And uh, you know, that's it. And uh, want you scars, Pharisees and hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres and righteous. And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, be witness unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. You know, for it's God and uh, uh, first God to sit there, and uh, this is what uh, they do. You know, first God to sit uh, tells you that in Mark chapter 12, about the vineyard, uh, said God sent prophets, and uh, then he'll send his son, his heir. He didn't say he sent himself. He didn't say he'll send the, the owner sent himself. No, he sent his son. You know, this the heir, and this is what they did. They killed him, uh, so forth and so on, because he didn't like what was coming out of his mouth. You know, first God that's it. They, they, they killed him. They crucified him, according to the scriptures, because he didn't like what's coming out of his mouth. Men don't like what's coming out of the mouth of, my, of me or of the Bible because they're offended in Christ. And then Jesus said, it's that they hated me first. And then that's it. They, they hate, it. hate uh, you because they hate me. Uh, and then first God, they hate me without the cause. Glory to Jesus. And they did it to the prophets of old because they hated them. They hated the words. And then first God, because light. And they want to continue on their darkness. And then first God, that's it. Serve the darkness. Because the devil has been cast down to the earth and he knows he has a short time. And he's going to try everything and anything he can to get people on his side. And Make people stay in darkness, abide in darkness, to abide in the Bibles and gain in light. By the time you need to read your Bible, praise God, clergy, praise God, because this is what you need. Love her, and she shall preserve thee. You know, praise God. And Judah tells you about being preserved in Christ. You no, know, praise God, clergy, praise God. And that's it. Uh, you know, that uh, people want to be reserved. They're ones uh, kind of reserved, you know, to themselves and kind of reserved. And I'm kind of a preserved person. Well, praise God, I'm a preserved person. Man, praise God, how is clergy, praise God. So I'm preserved in Christ, clergy, praise God. Uh, so, what does it, my brethren? No, praise God. I mean, that's it. I uh, mean, praise God. Uh, but no man say he have faith and have not works. Can faith save him? No, praise God. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. No, praise God. Said faith. No, praise God. Can uh, faith, uh, uh, you know, save him? No, not, absolutely not. For not the hearers are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Romans 2.13. No, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, no, praise God. Uh, Brother or sister, be naked and de uh, destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, he gives them not those things which are needful to the body. What that for profit? You know, praise God, tell them, well, you know, said God loves you, and here's a bowl, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, praise God, uh, here's a, praise uh, God, that's it, and uh, here's a, uh, a, uh, a scripture, so, you know, that's it, or so forth and so on, you know, God loves you, and, and uh, God bless you, you know, that's it, and uh, so forth and so on. Well, that's it, you know, that's it, you, you're, you're not uh, giving them uh, a bull suit, a jacket, you know, praise God, that's it, that, uh, uh, and, and uh, instead of being warmed and filled, you know, praise God, that's it, praise God, and uh, uh, helping a, a brother or sister out uh, in their time of need, you know, praise God, glory to praise God, that's it, uh, you know, say it, praise God, and uh, we're not talking about the, the uh, bum down the street uh, who uh, uh, wants uh, uh, to know nothing, you know, said who just wants to grab your food and grab a, a couple of extra dollars so he can go and uh, buy some uh, heroin or buy some drugs and be out in the streets and so forth and so on. And we have people out there who just love it to be out in the streets. They love to be out there in the streets and so forth and so on because why the they, they got the mind of uh, demons uh, possessed, you know, that's it. Praise God because they're out there because uh, they can get the drugs uh, and they can uh, get, uh, you know, uh, sleep cheaper or they can get, uh, you know, sleep on a park bench and so forth and so on, get beaten up and uh, uh, get taken by the rest of the world, you know, praise God, and uh, uh, and uh, man love that uh, because uh, uh, this is what man lived for, you know, praise God, that's it. They, 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 uh, they love the free booze and so forth, and, and why are they going to give all that up, you know, that's it. Uh, why are they going to give up welfare and go uh, for a job, you know, praise God, because they have to work for a living. Uh, then uh, the uh, uh, the welfare office, uh, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, 
uh, it's not going to uh, give them a check. But the problem is with, uh, we have with uh, Christians out there uh, is, is that uh, uh, they want to go on with the welfare checks and they want to go on with this and so forth and so on. And, uh, you know, for it's kind of a brother or sister. So we're talking about those who are in Christ, uh, brother or sister, uh, be naked and destitute of daily food. And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be warm, fulfilled, notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth the prophet? You know, first God, first God. You know, if your enemy hungers, give him something to drink. You know, first God, give him something to eat. You know, first God, and that's it. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, first God, but Amen, first God, Amen. Let him make sure that uh, give him something to eat and drink, and thou shalt he heap hot coals upon the head and preach the gospel to so, him. You know, first God, first God, first God, and sit that. Uh, you know, first God, and uh, I've done that before uh, uh, many times, and uh, in the past, you know, first God, and. Uh, and some people uh, have the gall to ask me, well, can I have uh, $5 to a place to stay? You know, uh, can I have this and so forth and so on? And I tell them, absolutely not, because uh, I don't uh, give uh, solely unto dogs. So I want to give my money to these people so they can use that $5 to go out and buy drugs or buy a bottle of booze uh, from a uh, black market or so forth and so on. You know, for this guy, they're going to find a place I want to follow them, make sure it's a place to stay. You know, for this guy, not a place that's going to, you know, uh, just. Uh, uh, be uh, just a shelter for one night so they can take uh, some needles and some drugs to shoot it up overnight. You know, that's it. That's not uh, what we're told. But this is, praise God, a brother or sister. Uh, you know, praise God, uh, we don't give them uh, what they need. You know, praise God, uh, sit that uh, as a brother or sister. Well, they said, what prophet? You know, if a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he's a liar. Praise God, John said. Uh, you know, praise God, if we love not our brother whom we've seen, how can we love God whom we've not seen? You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So, you know, sometimes we entertain angels unawares. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, we've got to. You know, uh, have, uh, you know, first God, uh, you know, take care of your brothers and sisters in Christ, first God, because they're your family. Coach, first God, uh, you know, we have a carnal family, but, uh, you know, that's it. And the carnal family, a lot of times, don't want to learn anything, because Jesus said, I think not come to send peace, but sword, uh, mother against daughter, and father against son, and so forth and so on. Uh, but uh, we have a carnal family, but uh, we also have a heavenly family, first God. And it's our duty to take care of our brothers and sisters, take care of them, make sure, man, that's it, that uh, they're well fed, they're well stocked, they're well. Uh, Whatever, praise God, because uh, they're not going to be starving out in the streets. And if they are starving, no, they to come over my house, that's it. But they're just, uh, you know, want to come over and just because uh, they want to watch uh, a, a movie and they want to and they want to have fun and they want to, you know, uh, do whatever the world says. Well, that's not my brother and sister. My brother and sister either wants to do uh, my will. Jesus said, no, praise God, hallelujah, glory, praise God. Not that, uh, you know, it's just the uh, movies, but it's just that, you know, there's a lot of profane movies up there. And the Bible says, it's that thou set no wicked thing before my eyes. So, first God, it's that, uh, there's uh, a lot of bad movies up there, you know, it's it, first God, and uh, we don't at all endorse, nor do I ever, uh, will I ever uh, say it's, it's okay to watch a movie, to go out and watch a movie. It's not the church's responsibility to take you to the movie theater and to watch Star Wars because it deals with light and darkness. Not the church's responsibility. No, because our church's responsibility as a minister of Christ, you know, praise God, is to teach you the difference between the holy and profane, to teach you the scripture, teach the word, so that you can have the mind of Christ, so that you don't go out to these places, you don't end up the way the world wants you to end up. You know, praise God, that's it. And the world wants you to end up talking about God and not about Jesus Christ. You know, praise God, because they hate Jesus. I mean, they just hate that name. And praise God, this power and the devil hates it. You know, praise God, because they said, uh, they are to Christ, the Son of God. The Bible says in James 2.19, uh, later on in this chapter, uh, it, says, it says the devils believe and tremble. You know, first God, they know who Jesus is. You know, they say, and the devils believe in one God and they tremble. You know, first God, but uh, a lot of people, um, they don't tremble. Without no vain man that faith about works is dead also. You know, first God, so this is what uh, people uh, don't want to believe. You know, said, first God, they, they say that uh, we're not saved by works. Why well, stay saved by works? You know, first God, how it wasn't a gift. Uh, that uh, God did, that uh, that I did, I should say, sorry, it wasn't any gift that I did um, that uh, got Jesus to the cross. It was the gift of God. You know, first God nailed him to the cross, uh, that nailed him to the cross, and now that he's saved and got me into the Bible, first God called me into the word of his grace and uh, that uh, called my name, you know, first God, and uh, uh, that uh, called me into the works that my father draws you unto me, you cannot be saved. You know, it was a gift of God that he sent his son to the cross, and now that I'm saved, now I'm in the Bible, now I'm here, first God, we have to. Work to stay safe. It takes works to stay safe. I stay safe by works. You know, well, faith without works is dead. So, you know, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. You know, praise God, say, praise God. So, people have faith, as what Paul says, is that if we have faith in Christ alone, uh, you know, that's it, then we are men most miserable. Praise God. So, we hope in Christ, you know, praise God, uh, uh, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, you know, that uh, we're men most miserable. Praise God. People have faith that, uh, you know, like uh, that, uh, that uh, 
in the in the drugs and, sh and faith in the church and faith in this and so forth and so on. That's not the right faith that's going to, that God's looking for, which comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God, uh, you know, praise God. And then we have to be doers, so praise God, because that uh, hearing, uh, praise God, uh, causes us to be doers. And Peter said, save yourselves from this untoward generation. You know, praise God, they were hearing the words of Peter and uh, the Holy Ghost found them and it uh, caused them to do things. So praise God, it sits and Peter, you know, preached the word, uh, you know, to them and that's it and uh, Peter had to baptize them praise God had to do works you know praise God and sit and, and told them to continue on in the grace of the Lord you know praise God to sit to continue on with the works you know praise God the sick Lord praise God to laying hands and healing the sick and so forth and so on what Peter said in Acts chapter 10 uh, you know, praise God, we're told to continue on those works. Praise God, God praise God, I mean, says they shall drink any deadly thing, uh, it shall not hurt them. And pray for one another and to love your enemies, do good unto them. Praise God, glory, praise God, love your brother. Uh, you know, praise God, by all this, all men shall know you are my disciples in John 14. If you have love one for another, you know, praise God, this, uh, people don't have love one for another, they have love for the pocketbook, love for money, and so forth and so on. And they, and they, uh, and they nail each other, blast each other, they don't want to look each other in the face when they go to church. Uh, uh, even families are so split apart; they want to look, don't want to look at each other. Because why? Because uh, it's that uh, they're, they're full of darkness. You know, praise God, that's it. they're not full of the gospel of Christ, and that's it. Praise God, that's it. they don't have the gospel; they just got uh, uh, just uh, darkness instead of light. You know, praise God, Jesus came that uh, division. You know, praise God, that's it. Praise God, once we're separated from our mother's navel, from church, from the, what our parents gave us, religion. That Jesus said uh, in uh, Luke chapter uh, uh, 11 was to hate your life. You know, praise God, it's to hate. Uh, what, uh, what you learned, you know, praise God, uh, uh, from uh, religion, and to come pick up your cross and follow after him, praise God, and sit, and, uh, and sit, and this is what you have to do, hate your life, and hate what uh, your family gives you, mother, father, religion, you know, praise God, to hate, uh, hate all that, you know, praise God, sit, because this is what they give you, hate, is to hate your, your religion, you know, what profit a man, if you, if you shall gain the whole world, lose his own soul, what's going to profit you, if you, if you, if you gain the audience of the church, uh, having man's advantage because of admiration, uh, but you're going to lose your own soul, you know, so, uh, even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being also. Yea, a man say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You know, praise God, and that's it, praise God. So show me the Christianity, you know, uh, uh, they out there, you know, they're talking about the, that, the, that there's no work, no work, no work, no work. Okay, then what are you doing on the internet preaching? You know, that takes works. Because we're told to preach the word in season, out of season. That's works. So uh, if there's no work, then what are you doing on the internet? You know, that's it. It's, it's, it's a dead faith. You know, if you don't have works following you, and these signs shall follow them, uh, after which shall believe on me. You know, for it's God, not uh, us looking for signs, it's them following us. You know, for it's God, glory, for it's God, and they said, I'll show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there's one God. You know, for it's God, uh, this is it. That thou believest there's one God. Everybody believes in God. You ask the, the church, oh, they believe in God. You ask uh, the person down the street, the homosexual, the, the hobo, they believe in God. The, the, the prostitute and the murderer and the, and the home runger and the, uh, and the uh, drunkard and the rioter and the, and uh, whatever they everybody believes in God. You know, they believe in God. You know that's it. But they uh, don't tell you what God. You know, or they'll even the, the grocery sh uh, store clerks. Oh my God, and so forth and so on. They believe in God. Everybody believes in God, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. You know, they don't believe His Word. You know, say praise God. They believe in God, but it's just as far as it's going to go. That's why people say I mess up. You know, I walk with God and I mess up. Well, of course you're going to mess up because you don't walk with Christ. You know, praise God. You're not walking hand in hand with the Son because she said I am the way, the truth, and the life. You believe in God, believe also in me. No man comes from the Father but by me. But, uh, you know, people want to climb up another way and uh, walk uh, hand in hand. They're going to be uh, messing up. You know, even God says, you know, if uh, thou dig, you know, you dig your way out of hell, I'm going to cast you back into hell. If you hide yourself from the bottom of the sea, I'm going to find you. You know, say, first God, you're going to try to find another way? Well, I'm going to find you and I'm going to stop it, you know, first God, because I'm going to put an end to it. Because, uh, you know, it, the way is now through my son. If you're not going to listen to my son, then you can't get to me. You know, that's what that says, that's Lord, that's what God says. So you can't come knocking on my door, uh, when, you know, and, uh, and and enter in because the door is through my son. You know, first God, said, first God, she said, I'm the door and no man uh, come finds the father but by me, but by me, you know, first God. So that's why the door is. You know, first God, said, and that's why we have to. Uh, the door we have to go through. Praise God's name is Jesus, and uh, you know that's it. And that's where the sheep entered through the door. You know, when the, the olden days they had the tabernacles, and the tabernacles they had a door. And in order to see the glory of God inside the tabernacle, you had to go through the door. And that's it. In order to get to the Father, you have to go through the door. You have to knock on the door. The name is Jesus, not knock on God. You know, see, so you, you don't uh, knock on God to get to God. You know, you knock on the door on the Son to get to the Father. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. People uh, don't want that. You know, praise God, they just want to. You know, walk right in. They don't even want the door. They, they just want the door to be wide open. Uh, they want the door to 
you know, uh, to disappear sometimes because they don't like him, uh, and they uh, even uh, want uh, God to disappear. As if he's got, they just want to, you know, have this beach paradise, and yet uh, they don't want no uh, nothing with it. You know, so they just want to expect to be in paradise. Well, forget it. You know, and uh, Jesus said to the thief, uh, to Robert, "Say thou shalt be with in, with me in paradise, because he feared God." That was the last promise, last thing he did before he died, and he gave up the ghost. You know, for his God, that's it. It is finished. You know, for his God, that's it. And uh, and that's why he said this, that say thou shalt be with me in paradise, because you fear God, that was their salvation. Praise God. Now, after the cross, it's just that we got to do what the Bible says, praise God, our salvation is now in Christ. No, praise God, to be here, to be doers of the law, not just hearers only, praise God. So, and praise God, thou believes that there is one God, thou do as well. The devils also believe and tremble, and they, uh, and they uh, hate that, you know, praise God, because they said to, uh, to uh, Jesus, we know who thou art, the Holy One of God, you know, the Son of God. He didn't say, uh, we know who you are, uh, you are God. No, they didn't say that. They said that you are the Son of God. You know, praise God, in uh, Mark chapter 1 and in chapter uh, uh, 3, you know, praise God, when Jesus uh, went to temples and to cast them out, praise God, and uh, sit in the temples, try to cast Jesus out because they didn't want his word because it was uh, too much light. They loved their confusion and they loved their demons. They, that's where you're going to find demon spirits is in uh, the, the synagogues. He didn't uh, uh, find them in the tax office. He found Matthew there. You know, praise God, he found a believer in the tax office. You know, praise God, sick, Lord, praise God, uh, one that wasn't at all connected to the church, one at all that wasn't making a uh, collection for his church and, and uh, was doing the uh, um, uh, the accountant for the uh, local church down the street that uh, and he was a, and he was a member of it. No way, uh, he was a, uh, a person separated, you know, and that he said, uh, you know, spot him, says, okay, come after me, first guy, clerks, first guy, found Peter, a fisherman. Uh, he was going to choose the foolish thing of the world and found the wise and found that Jesus scary the thief, of course, and Thomas and uh, uh, Jude and uh, so forth and uh, the whole list there, Peter and Andrew and uh, uh, Philip and uh, so forth and so on. And uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, whole list there, first God, the 12 disciples, no, first God, that's who Jesus called, no, first God, sick, which first God, and, uh, Jesus said, this is that, uh, you know, first God, that uh, when he prayed in John 17, he says, I've given them your word, Father, first God, is it that uh, now keep them from the evil. God. Not that you take them out of the world, but you protect them from the evil. That's it, because the devil's going to come around and sift them as wheat, like Jesus said to Peter. No, praise God. But thou believes that there's one God, thou doest well. The devils believe, also believe, and tremble. No, praise God. That's it. Men don't tremble, because without no old vain man, faith without works is dead. You know, uh, men are vain. They don't uh, uh, tremble at the sight of God. They don't tremble at his word. They just want to fornicate. They just want to get rid of it, burn it. Uh, get rid of it, so forth and so on, and uh, I go on to witchcrafts or drunkards or their parties and so forth and so on, and laugh at it, uh, so forth and so on. And the Bible says, Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. For what a man soweth, that also he shall reap. You know, for God. And uh, we read that in the Old Testament that he wasn't mocked, that uh, he plagued the Israelites and uh, he bit them with uh, fiery serpents, and uh, that uh, he sent uh, uh, all types of nations against Israel, and he sent the Philistines after Israel to rule over them, and, uh, uh, and he sent all types of uh, judges to you execute uh, judgment upon them and so forth and so on and uh, uh, they uh, uh, they didn't uh, uh, that uh, they didn't uh, want to uh, go on you know, praise God but without no vain man that faith without works is dead so praise God said they don't want they want to know back then and uh, men don't want to know today you know said praise God and said and, uh, men are just dead and that's it they're just going on and they're dead in their sins and trespasses and they're going and the Bible says the wages of it is death and then praise God James uh, says in James chapter one that when sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. You know, first God, glory to first God. Says, so when, finish, when sin's going to be finished, it's going to bring forth death. It's not going to bring forth life. It's not going to bring forth heaven. You know, people uh, claim uh, that they're in heaven right away uh, as soon as they die. Well, then who's Jesus coming back for? You know, first God, Jesus coming back for holy people. First God, he isn't going to come back, uh, uh, you know, they sit uh, uh, for nothing. You know, first God, everybody's in heaven. Then who's in hell then? You know, sit, uh, the Bible says that God made a hell to either consume me fire uh, in Hebrews chapter 12, you know, praise God, he's a jealous guy, he's a consuming fire. Uh, you got to serve him with reverence and with godly fear because uh, men out there, uh, it's just incredible how uh, men out there are just uh, um, just on their way to hell, on their way to uh, hellfire brimstone uh, instead of uh, on their way to heaven, uh, praise God, instead of on their way to uh, heavenly uh, places, you know, and being in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, Ephesians 1 says, uh, praise God, the men are just uh, uh, in places uh, that are. Uh, 
uh, there are dark uh, places, dark holes, and uh, so forth and so on, and they love those places. Uh, amen, that's it. And it's just like a bunch of cockroaches. They flee as soon as the light gets turned on because uh, you turn on the Bible, and they don't want it. You know, they sit to walk by you, and they'll just uh, don't want it. They won't, don't want to ask any questions because they think that hearing it on Sunday is good enough for them, uh, which is not, which is nothing because you're just hearing philosophy and being deceit. Uh, amen, the rudiments of the world, not after Christ. You know, praise God, glory to God. Amen, that's it. And, uh, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well, the devils also believe and tremble. But without no vain man, the faith of our works is dead. So we got examples right here that about uh, faith, you know, praise God, with works. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? You know, praise God, when Isaac, uh, when uh, Abraham was going to kill his son Isaac, you know, that's it, that, uh, uh, you know, that's it, that uh, he had uh, faith that, uh, uh, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, Abraham, and that he listened to uh, God, and that he believed God, and uh, as Paul says, that he believed God, and so forth, and he was called a friend, and that uh, he, uh, uh, you know, praise God, and that uh, he, uh, uh, you know, that's it, uh, was going to kill his son, you know, that's how uh, much faith he had, and how much, uh, uh, how much he obeyed God, and how much he, he loved the Lord, you know, he'll, he'll uh, even kill his son, you know, praise God, uh, just to show how much he loved God, and how much he did, and uh, so forth, and so on, and, uh, uh, you know, and Abraham is a fine example that uh, when he had offered his uh, son Isaac upon the altar, you know, for Scott, because he did the works, he did what God told him to do. He just didn't uh, stand by and uh, wait for something to hit him on the head. You know, that's what Christianity is waiting for instead of opening up the Bible. They're waiting for something to come down from heaven like the old days, like, uh, you know, maybe the three angels to come down and talk to Abraham. Well, forget it. God has spoken unto us for the latter days through his son. You know, for Scott, for Scott, through his word. You know, for Scott, not, uh, uh, not through uh, a vision anymore of uh, waiting like... Uh, you know, like Moses, you know, where he had to see the uh, um, flame come up above the tabernacle, you know, for his God, or uh, see the uh, miracles, so forth, so forth, and so on. Uh, uh, when God came down, you know, for his God, all his flies, and God talked to Moses face to face as well later on, and uh, for his God, and uh, through the bush uh, uh, as well, and so forth, and so on, you know, and, uh, you know, we're not waiting like Paul or Peter anymore on the Holy Ghost to, uh, to eventually to uh, give us an answer to uh, a problem or a Whatever we need, you know, so forth that we're facing every day, we got the answer right here, the Bible. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, and this is it. You know, praise God, the answer, praise God, because we got the whole book. I have more than what Peter or Paul has, because I got the whole Bible. You know, Paul had to wait in the Holy Ghost, and so forth and so on, and uh, Peter had to wait, and so forth, and uh, so forth, so forth and so on, and he was uh, crucified, and they, they crucified him upside down, and they called him their first pope. You know, that's it. Uh, well, that's it. it's just uh, man, uh, kind, you know, that's it, just trying to you know, look for an excuse to start a Catholic Church because, you know, they say, oh, Peter, uh, uh, would you say that, uh, you know, that uh, I will build my church upon you? Well, that's right, the church, the word, praise God, the rock. Amen, praise God, uh, Jesus said is that he that's a doer is one that's uh, built his house on the sand, on the uh, rock, and uh, the winds and the waves cannot move it, but he that's just a hearer is just deceiving themselves and just a house built on the sand, and the sand's just going to uh, swallow up that house, and the winds, the waves are just going to, you know, break your foundations as well. You know, that's it. They can't stand a while as the devil. Even Jesus talked about the uh, this about the uh, parable about, about the seed and the sower in Mark chapter uh, four. You know, first God said, and uh, that uh, the devil's around to steal the words that are written in people's hearts. Those that uh, fell on uh, uh, the uh, uh, rock, and then those that uh, fell on stony ground on the uh, uh, I'm sorry, amongst the thorns, uh, amongst the weeds. Uh, you know, that's it. That uh, those are the ones that are in trouble with the cares, pleasures, and riches of this world. But those that fell on good ground, well, that's it. Praise God, hallelujah. That those are the ones that are going to endure in the end. And those on the rock are going to lose for a while, but then the devil's going to be around to steal those words written in their heart, and that's what the devil wants. He wants the crown. You no, know, praise God. He's a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You no, know, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. So, for all Christianity is that they love the roaring lion. You no, know, that's it. They don't love the the uh, uh, word of God or the uh, Lion of Judah, you know, for his God, that's it, uh, you know, that's uh, the one it talks about in Revelation. And for his God, they don't want that lion, uh, you know, for his God, that's it, they want the roaring lion, they want the devil, you know, that's it, and they want to, uh, you know, uh, be endorsed with lie, the same lie that Eve was given by the devil, to say that it's okay that, uh, you know, that uh, uh, God uh, doth know, uh, yeah, if God said that, that you should not part be partaking of the tree, and, you know, God doth know that your eyes shall be open, so forth and so on. Well, forget it, you know, that's it, your eyes got to be open to uh, the Bible, not be open uh, to knowing, uh, uh, good and bad, because at one time we were only supposed to know the good, not the bad, but uh, the Eve listened to the serpent as much as Christianity is, that's why they're calling Jesus God, and that's why they're calling uh, 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 God Jesus, so forth and so on, uh, because uh, they don't uh, understand the Bible, they don't understand between father and son, now what Jesus said is, is that I came not forth from my own self, but he sent me, 
And you see, in Saint John fourteen twenty three, I says that uh, uh, that uh, he had loved me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the words which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. You know, first God, because Jesus had the Spirit of God in him, because he says uh, that uh, I and my Father are one, and he says that uh, the works that I am doing, uh, that, that they show the Father, we're one, we're one accord, we're not uh, at all disagreement, we're not at all uh, on uh, different uh, grounds, on uh, you know, is that uh, my Father isn't. Uh, uh, on a uh, you know higher level than me, you know that's it. Uh, or I'm on a higher level level than him, and we're not uh, cooperating together. No, you know that's it. They're they're in one accord. No, praise God, because Jesus said, "What I hear my Father say, I judge." You know, praise God, said, praise God. So, you know, praise God, and, uh, and there was an agreement. You know, praise God, let us make men in our own image. It doesn't say let me make men, let us, plural. You know, praise God. And the promise of uh, Christianity uh, is, is that uh, they uh, still got this thing uh, called uh, let me make man. Uh, instead of uh, let us, you know, because that's why they think that Jesus is God, because they said before Abraham was, I am. Well, that's right. Let us make man. You know, because God, that's who uh, God was talking to, to uh, uh, that other person. You know, because God, the Word, and the Word was made flesh. Because God, not God, the Word. You know, because God, and that's why they don't understand John one, uh, where it says that the Word was God, because it's a metaphor for verse three that all things were made by Him, by Word, and without Him, without Word, was nothing made that was made. Praise uh, God, glory to God. Not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered uh, Isaac his son upon the altar. See us now then how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. No first God how see us how faith wrought by his works, no first God. So uh Amen first God and by works was faith made perfect. No first God say glory first God. So there you go, first God. So Jesus, uh, Abraham did what uh, God said and then uh, at the end uh, uh you know uh, he uh, didn't kill him. Uh, he didn't need to kill him. You know that's it. Praise God. Uh, he found that ram. You know that's it. The angel of the Lord told Abraham, uh, was that, uh, you know, don't lay your hand on the son. So I know, I know that you fear me." And praise God. And Abraham uh, was called a friend of God. And uh, you know, praise God. And he did what the Bible says. He did what God told him to do. You know, praise God. Praise God. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, you know, he didn't question God. They had that movie, The Bible, uh, out, and uh, it shows that uh, he's questioning God. What do you want? What do you mean you want me to kill Isaac? Uh, you know, he didn't question God. It's like the way the movie has. No, it's uh, it's uh, you know, it's, he was a friend of God, and he was willing to do anything that God told him to do. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. You know, that's it. Praise God, he was uh, a friend of God, and praise God. And this is what uh, Abraham was. You know, praise God. He was the father of all nations. Uh, yes, the father of the Muslims as well, because he come from Ishmael seed, the bastard child of, of Abraham, from bondage, from Hagar, and was saved the scripture, cast out the bond woman, and because the bond woman cannot be. Heir with the free woman, with Sarah, with the with the son, you know, for his guy with the with the heir, and that's what uh, who um, Isaac is. He is the son of the free woman of Sarah, and that's where the covenant shall be established with Isaac and not with Ishmael. And so we're having all these shootings and all these problems with these uh, uh, Muslims. Uh, it's getting worse and worse because the Christians of the hour uh, don't want to take heed to the Bible, and God says, okay, because you don't want to take heed to the Bible, you don't want to do what I say. Uh, the same as in the nation. Whose tongue thou canst not understand is deeper than yours, and whose ways are uh, not going to be pleasant. You know, for God is going to take your oil and your lamb, your old folks, and the things you built and the things you love the most, and they're going to destroy them. You know, for God, and this is what these people do. They shoot machine guns in the air, and they, and they have a funny book called the, the Quran, which is a perverted uh, book, and they uh, can't even heal. Uh, they never even say Muhammad himself, because uh, it cannot heal, it cannot save, it cannot make alive, it cannot uh, uh, do uh, any of those things. You know, praise God, it cannot uh, heal, cannot save, cannot raise the dead, it cannot uh, do anything. You know, it couldn't even heal, help Muhammad. You know, uh, so and it's, it's not going to help these people. It's just made them worse. And uh, people say that, uh, that uh, these Muslims are worth for peace, worth for peace. Yeah, there's no peace uh, without Jesus Christ. There's no peace. There's no peace, save my Lord unto the wicked. You know, praise God, so there's no peace. These people are wicked people, and this is, these people are uh, around just to persecute the Christians because Christianity rejected the word of the Lord. No, praise God. Wouldn't it be great if they acknowledged the word of God? No, praise God. It's a, a secular praise God. I mean, so it would be all one accord, and we all be, you know, praise God. We wouldn't have to worry about these people. We'd uh, all have a strong uh, world, you know, praise God. And we don't have to worry about nothing and about, uh, you know, so forth and so on, about, uh, you know, about the uh, people uh, lacking whatever, you know, praise God. We'd be strong in the word, and we all, uh, you know, praise God. We'd all be uh, rejoicing and uh, so forth and so on. And people, you know, say to me, uh, uh, that uh, well, that uh, you know, are you, are you more than Christ because you say you're perfect? Well, the Bible says, uh, finally, brethren, be perfect. You know, for it's got to be in Second uh, Corinthians uh, 13, and uh, the Bible says it's that uh, we're presenting every man perfect in Christ Jesus. You know, for it's got a lot of people think I'm just uh, here, just uh, talking to myself. You know, they just uh, you know uh, 
does he hear what he say and so forth and so on they say to me uh, or they just uh, say to me uh, he just wants to hear his own voice and so forth and so on and uh, you don't want to take heed to the word of God and it's sad that uh, you don't want to take heed and it's uh, uh, and it's not all uh, not going to be my fault so long as I preach the gospel I mean, but the blood's going to be upon their heads and Paul says is that you judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life amen for God Jesus said this is that uh, uh, amen for God this is that um, he that uh, believe not is condemned already no it's it that uh, you're the one condemning yourself no not Jesus but you're the one that condemned himself, yourself because you're not believed in the only begotten son of God and this is the problem that Muslims and Christians out there they haven't believed and with the said Lord with the son of God where they don't believe the Bible they just believe in uh, uh, a, a delusion that is from Bible school and uh, uh, in lie and a lie you know said from the Pope and uh, from uh, the Cardinals and from the Jesuits uh, and from the Protestant ministers and the so-called philosophers and dreamers uh, and uh, so forth and so on, like Charles Russell and uh, instead of believing what they say to the Lord you know for instance they believe in the Muhammads they believe in whatever hut huts and it's and so forth and so on instead of uh, believing the word of God clergy priest kind of say what the belief was written it says uh, see us how faith is wrought by his works in that works with was faith made perfect as scriptures fulfilled which say if Abraham believed God and it was imputed to him for righteousness and he was called a friend of God no praise God it said not an enemy of God no glory to God a lot of Christianity is an enemy of God you know they are friends of the world is an enemy toward God you know so we have a lot of enemies out there a lot of uh, enemies uh, toward God and uh, that's it uh, you know said uh, called Christianity because God is rebellion his glory is a shame in mind earthly things and who don't at all take heed to the gospel but I'm telling you to take heed to what you hear you know, praise God, take heed to the gospel of Christ, so because this is the power of God and salvation to everyone that believes. Praise God, hallelujah. And it says that, uh, you see how that the man is not justified uh, that by works. You see that how that by works, the man is justified and not by faith only. You know, praise God, because Abraham had works. You know, praise God, glory praise God, he had works. Likewise, also, it's not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had not sent them out another way, you know, praise God, that's it, you know, she received the messengers from Joshua, and that the spy out the land, and uh, she was afraid, because she said, that's this I know, I fear God, that, uh, you know, that Israel's going to overthrow us, you know, and uh, I'm going to hide you up here, and I'm going to tell those guys to go another way, look uh, uh, in, a, in a completely different direction, the opposite direction, and I'll send you in, a, in the other direction, so forth and so on, and uh, the problem with Christianity today, is this, that's that uh, they're uh, going uh, in the opposite direction of what they say to the Lord, no, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, uh, you know, they're not going, uh, what the Bible says is, the east is far from the west, so how have uh, I put your iniquities far from you? You know, praise God, they're not going in the, that kind of opposite direction. They're going in the uh, opposite direction is that they're following the darkness, they're following the things of this world, endorsing the things of this world, they're endorsing the, uh, the uh, evil, and, the, and they're hating the good. And the Bible says, well, unto you when you, uh, when you call good evil and evil good. Uh, remember, for God, this is what Christianity is, is that you're just endorsing the wrong things. They're endorsing, uh, you know, uh, a lie to to deny who Jesus is, denying the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, speaking evil of the truth, uh, the, the way of truth, Peter says, and with feigned words, they're making merchandise of you, and then buy my cup, buy my mug, so forth and so on. Uh, and uh, you look at the, not only in the church today, but it reflects from outside those churches. Uh, look at the, the, the uh, employment today, and the youth today can't find a job, and the employers today are so, you know, in this, into their money, just like the churches are, and the employers are... Uh, out there today are just uh, don't want to train, don't want to do nothing, don't want uh, to uh, uh, do nothing anymore. They just expect everybody to know everything, so forth and so on. And churches are uh, no different because uh, the churches don't want to do nothing, don't want to know nothing, and uh, they uh, uh, they expect, you know, praise God, everybody to to uh, be their butler for them and uh, to uh, uh, to do everything for them, praise God, and that's it, and uh, that's it. And they don't want to at all to train people in the Bible, you know, praise God, that's it. That's why they're looking for. Uh, you know, Sunday school teachers or uh, smokers or drinkers or divorced and married people because uh, they can't seem to find anybody else or the, the memberships are dropping so they're going to have to endorse uh, you know plays and so forth and so on well she said except my father draws you unto me ye cannot be saved you know praise God I don't get drawn to church or to uh, uh, Sunday or to Sunday school churches you know praise God that's it uh, you know uh, by uh, their their dramas because I don't even have Sunday school period you know it goes out the door along with the kitchen along with these holidays and sports and so forth in the world you know, praise God, that's it, because it's not the church's job to endorse the world. It's their job to preach the gospel, you know, preach uh, and exercise the gifts of the Spirit and do what the Bible says. It's not our job to to uh, to endorse them, but it's our job to uh, 
uh, Prince Guy to uh, come out from from my young Prince Guy to separate from the world Prince Guy, not to go for a, 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 a church picnic, you know, that's it, and to please the flesh. We're here to walk in the spirit, Prince Guy, not please the flesh. And you should not fulfill us the flesh. We're not here to please man's sins or fill up their sins, you know, just to make them feel good and so forth, and just to welcome them into our church. You know, that's it, I'm not here to give you a gift. Welcome into my church. The, the only gift I got is the free gift, you know, praise God, is uh, the gospel of Christ, Lord, praise God, and this is what you need. The Bible. You need to read your Bible, praise God. Not not just to uh, have a, uh, a church doctrine, uh, praise God, which is not by doctrine, devils, seducing and spirits, or a, a cross, or an idol, or Mary. But no, but you need the gospel, praise God. Help me. He says that, uh, likewise, was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had not sent them out another way? For the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. No praise God. So the body without the spirit is dead. No praise God. The church body without the spirit is dead. You know, you read that in First uh, Samuel, uh, chapter uh, uh, chapter three or four, uh, where uh, that uh, lady named uh, her child uh, Ichabod, uh, the uh, after uh, one of uh, Eli's uh, children, you know, had a baby, and uh, and uh, one of the ladies they was uh, uh, laying with. Uh, and she named him uh, Ichabod, that the, uh, the glory of the Lord has departed. You know, uh, Elifir, you know, that's it, praise God. And this is what, uh, in every church I could uh, see, uh, Ichabod. I went to uh, Seattle years ago when I used to live in Vancouver, British Columbia, and I found this uh, gentleman uh, who, uh, uh, who came all the way up from uh, Los Angeles and that he was uh, looking for uh, uh, work, uh, you know, praise God. And uh, he uh, was looking for work, and... He uh, was smoking his pipe and uh, his cigars and whatever and so forth and so on. He saw me with the Bible and started asking me questions. And then we started talking to McDonald's at the Space Needle, uh, downtown Seattle. And we were there for a few hours talking about the Word of God, talking about the grace of God, talking about uh, the Word of God. And, and uh, uh, telling him you have to give up your uh, your uh, nicotine there, your uh, your uh, um, pipe or your uh, cigar. And I uh, told him you have to give up your drinking, your, your ways of the world, your pernicious ways. Uh, so forth, and I preached the gospel, and uh, amen, praise God, just like uh, Peter in Acts chapter 10, preached the gospel, you know, praise God, that's it, and uh, uh, teach them the right way, and you know, praise God, and that's it, Lord, praise God, and uh, tell them what the truth is, uh, you know, praise God, and uh, uh, and he told me that, uh, and this is the actual words that he said to me, he said, is that, you know, he says, is that, uh, I, I knew there was a reason coming down to Seattle, he said, uh, that I knew there was a reason why, because he said, I've been looking for this for 20 years, I've been praying to God and calling on God for a revival, for a a man of God to come around for a revival, and uh, finally he says, "This is first time when I met you. First time I heard the truth." He says, "First time I you know I've been looking for this. What you got? You know, praise God. What you got? Well, what I got is from the Bible. Praise God, because I read my Bible. Glory to God. Bless this man to meditate from the Word of God day and night. For seed shall be blessed. You know, praise God. I get it from the Bible. You know, I don't get it from anywhere else. I don't get it from outer space. I don't get it from Mars. I don't get it from a, a, a UFO or from a, 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 a television show. Uh, you know, forget the TV shows. I mean, especially TV." Uh, uh, Preachers with their uh, crystal palace and their uh, waiver palace, prayer palace, and so forth and so on. Well, forget those people. Shut them off. I'll set no wicked things before my eyes. You know, praise God. I mean, that's it. Because these people are just there to endorse the world, to endorse uh, whatever after your pocketbook. And you robbed me, said the Lord, in the tithes and offerings. You know, praise God. Lord, praise God. But we're talking about uh, here about uh, Ichabod. You know, praise God. Lord, praise God. I mean, that's it. That uh, uh, it says right here that. Um, uh, 1 Samuel 5, uh, verse uh, uh, 19, and the daughter-in-law of Phineas, wife, you know, one of uh, uh, Eli's children, this guy was with child near to be delivered. And when she heard the tidings that the ark of God was taken and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and travailed for her pains and came upon her. And about the time of her death, the woman that stood by her said unto her, Fear not, for thou hast borne a son. And she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory of the Lord is departed from Israel. No, praise God, Ichabod. No, praise God, uh, uh, you know, praise God. That's it. We see, uh, we don't see the signs anymore, the salvation of the Psalms. No, praise God, that's it. Because, uh, uh, praise God, that's it. We see not the signs anymore. And this is what's promised. We don't see no signs because sin has entered the church. Darkness has entered the church. The world has entered the church uh, instead of the word. And uh, this is why I don't see no signs, no nothing anymore, and that's why that the world has just gone on uh, uh, a, a course, uh, you know, uh, straight for hell. You know, praise God in James chapter 3, um, you know, next chapter over from what I was reading, chapter, chapter 2, uh, that, uh, you know, that the tongue 
It's an unruly evil, and it's set on course on fire, the nature of hell. You know, praise God, that's it, and this is what uh, it is. It's just set on fire, the, the course of things uh, in Christianity, because the tongue has been so widely uh, used and, uh, so, and so widely uh, uh, misused, you know, praise God, that's it, and, uh, uh, and the tongue, and the uh, preacher's tongue. We're not talking about talking in tongues. We're talking about the, the tongue, you know, that's it, that, uh, that, uh, that's in your mouth, like your, and your tongue, like, you know, praise God, that tongue. No, praise God, that's what's uh, killing people off, is uh, people's tongues. No, praise God, that's it. We were talking about yesterday in Jude, uh, that there were uh, feasting among you, a uh, spots there amongst your feasts of charity, uh, and my twice dead, plucked up by the roots, by their tongue, you know, so they killed uh, uh, everything off, you know, so forth and so on, their tongue. Uh, you know, sit in the people, preachers say to me, well, you know, that there's no need for any of the gifts anymore, or preaching anymore, or so forth and so on, because that was uh, used to get the old church going. Well, you know, you're trying to tell me that gasoline isn't needed any, anymore for a car like it was in the olden days. I think when the first car came out, they needed gasoline, and the cars today need gasoline. So it's just like trying to tell me we don't need gas anymore for our cars, that uh, somehow they're going to they're gonna, uh, keep going. You know, the Muslims, you know, they say that they need, uh, uh, that God needs no man, and that uh, uh, so forth and so on. Okay, then why do you have Muhammad? And why do you have the Koran? Why, why didn't God break the Koran himself? You know, why do you have Muhammad? And why are you guys doing all the killings yourself, showing Allah be great? You know, why doesn't God do all your killings for you? Why do you have to send somebody else? Because uh, your Koran is absolute uh, joke book. It's an absolute garbage Antichrist book. Uh, no different than the Book of Mormon or the Red Book or whatever book. You know, that's it for this guy that's uh, profane against God. It's against the Bible. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen people on the bus and they've written by Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe or uh, uh, so forth and so on and uh, um, other uh, books by uh, other uh, people. Uh, you know, that's it, that, that's, uh, that's it, that, that's other books, and more books, and so forth and so on, they call them Christian books, and it's about fighting warfare, and so forth and so on, and and, uh, and it's just uh, no difference in, than uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, because it's outside the Bible, it's got nothing to do with the Bible, it's just called a Christian book, because they may use the word Jesus or God every once in a while, well, forget it, that's not the way it works, you know, that's it, that's uh, God's name is profane among them, it's profane in his name, you know, it's, it's not uplifting him, it's profane him, if anything, you know, so glory to God, you want to uplift the name of God, you want to come to his uh, word, you know, praise God, you want to have Christ in your praise God, you got to get into the Bible, praise God, glory to praise God, and I'm going to put my email address up here, you know, praise God, that's in Skype address, where you can reach me, uh, we can talk to me, uh, you know, praise God, if you have a question, or whatever, what I've been preaching about, but, thank you, bud, that uh, saying that the glory uh, is departed from Israel, because the ark of God was taken, and because her, uh, her uh, father-in-law and her husband, and she said, "The glory is departed from Israel, for the ark of God is taken." You know, praise God, is sitting. And, uh, the ark was taken, and all that's it. And uh, Israel fell to the hands of the Philistines. Uh, amen, praise God, uh, because he uh, did not at all. Um, is it uh, when he uh, take heed to the word of God? And uh, of course, the uh, preacher at the time, Eli, uh, there was no open vision. The word of God is precious, and he did not at all control his sons. Uh, to uh, stop doing uh, what they were doing, you know, it's said, praise God, so, I mean, that's it, there was no uh, real uh, justice, you know, praise God, was, uh, uh, you know, everybody was so, uh, you know, reserves themselves, and just, you know, kept the word of God hidden uh, in the book, just like the Pope does, and that's why that there's so much uh, fighting going on, praise God, it's back in Israel, but praise God, glory praise God, but then uh, we uh, read that the Israelites trampled over the Philistines, you know, came back to land, so forth and so on, and uh, you know, the Muslims, you know, say, well, you know, you Christians killed, well, so forth and so on. Well, that's right, because that was in the days of Israel, establishing the nation the way it is uh, today. Look at uh, Israel today. How many people love Israel? Not many people. They want to hate it. You know why? Because so they robbed, they, they took a lot of nations away from them. Uh, they uh, um, they hate Israel because of uh, Jesus. They hate, they hate Israel uh, because uh, that uh, uh, they, they, they hate the Jews because they, they uh, felt that they were robbed and they uh, felt that, uh, uh, that uh, they uh, were... Uh, uh, the lands were taken away from their ancestors, and so they hate Israel, and uh, so forth and so on, and they hate Israel because uh, that uh, she's such a mighty nation, and uh, and uh, that's it, and they, and they don't like her because God's watching over her. That's it, because God's with Israel. And praise God, just like uh, when God abandoned King Saul and uh, went for David, well, King Saul hated David. No, praise God, when God's watching over Israel still, you know, so he still has mercy on them because he sent Jesus, and he uh, still has mercy that... Uh, that they might turn around, that they'll turn around, that's it, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, have mercy on me, and he sells mercy on those people in Israel to wake them up, to, to turn around, because uh, Israel is still a nation the way it is today, if it was, if God didn't have mercy on Israel, it would have been walked over by all these nations a long time ago, no, praise God, but Israel still there, and uh, glory to praise God, be fulfilling the scriptures, amen, praise God, that's it, that uh, Jesus is coming back to the Mount of uh, 
uh, in uh, Jerusalem. You know, first God, Mount of Olives. You know, first God was uh, he's coming back. And uh, this uh, uh, like manner, it tells you in Acts chapter 1 that uh, you'll see him come back in as well. You know, first God, that's it. First God, that's it. First God, he's going to be coming back for the holy people. And then first God, that's it. And we've got to be there. First God, that's it. And, uh, man had the Star Wars project in the sky and satellites and so forth and so on, trying to watch for Jesus. You know, first God, to aim their missiles right on him. We'll forget it. You know, first God, you're not going to. You're not going to see nothing because it's going to be spiritual and not a carnal thing. This is what men are looking for, for something uh, spiritual in the carnal and the carnal in the spiritual. You can't uh, uh, go to the drugstore and uh, and uh, look for uh, a, uh, a puppy, and you can't go to the uh, dog pound and uh, look for uh, your uh, your uh, prescription medication. you got to look for, you know, if it's got the right things in the right area, area and you got to look for Jesus in the Word of God, you got to... Find you know who Christ is. Find out who God is uh, through the Bible. You can't find God uh, by just go, by going to church because uh, you'll find lots of gods. Whether it be heaven and earth, you'll find lots of gods, but you won't find the true God. You know, in far of the Lord Jesus Christ, so he's in your closet. Though he'd be not far from every one of us, Paul says. Praise God, glory, praise God. And so we got the Bible. And then praise God, that's it. And uh, we have Ikebud written in the churches, uh, so forth and so on. And uh, people. Say you name too much, expose too much preachers. Well, that's right, because people are sinners. You know, say so they commit sinners of the devil. You know, say, praise God. So they got to clean up. You know, praise God. They got to clean up. You know, praise God. That's it. Of praise God. People say, well, you know, uh, uh, aren't you looking for a lawsuit? Well, that's it. I'm looking for, uh, praise God. That's it. Uh, 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 the uh, suit that's going to suit uh, the uh, needs of the Christian. You no, know, praise God. The suit. Uh, uh, I mean, first guy that's going to uh, put on uh, my whole armor. First guy that got the whole armor for suits. You no, know, first guy a suit of armor. That's what I got. You no, know, first guy that's it, and uh, so forth and so on. So I don't care what man does. You know, uh, I, I, I well, I'm only fearing him that has the power to cast into hell after he can kill my body and can cast my soul into hell. I don't fear what these man can do. They can shoot my soul, but they can't chop up my. Uh, uh, they can shoot my body, I should say, but they can't uh, shoot my soul. They can't chop my soul up like chop liver or, or uh, chopped onions and dice and slice it, whatever they wanted. They can't touch that. You know, praise God, that's it. They can't touch my soul. You know, praise God, that's it. Praise God, it's only temporal. And the things which are not seen are eternal. Praise God, hell is eternal. And uh, so is life eternal in Christ. And you keep his word, you shall never taste death. And people don't want to believe that. And yet they claim that they're Christ. And the Bible says this uh, in uh, Colossians uh, 3 uh, uh, 16 is to. Uh, let the word God dwell in you richly in all wisdom and uh, psalms and hymns and so forth and so on. But people don't want to let it dwell in them. You know, praise God, they just uh, want to let it uh, drag over them. You know, praise God, want to want to just uh, uh, drag in their, their heels uh, in the word of God and just be stuck in one scripture because they feel comfortable. And instead of letting it uh, uh, psalms and hymns and going on to the next one and so forth and so on, rejoicing and, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, preaching. Uh, they don't they despise the preaching. Instead, the Bible says, "Despise not the prophesying, the preaching." Uh, people despise all that, and this is why the Muslims are uh, are being an active people because they're despising Jesus Christ, they're despising God and His Word, they're they're not taking them uh, seriously, and uh, this is what's happening. That there's a uh, falling away, and uh, that's it. Which we've got endorsing all the homosexuals and the Pope and all types of people, and allowing these people into the church, and the Pope has to make uh, compromises, you know, bring these people to church so at least they'll have some more money in his coffers because he's not making enough in the Vatican. You know, so he can't support his uh, Mary Idol or his uh, uh, his uh, clothing allowance or whatever it is. Uh, you know, it's it, uh, it's fake idols or his cardinals or he can't keep people on his payroll or the, uh, he can't support the mafia anymore and so forth and so on. And so he has to, you know, uh, sit and endorse all sorts of things just to get uh, some more people into the church. Well, forget it. You know, praise God, how is it that... Uh, if that's all uh, witchcraft and that's all vanity, you know, it's, it all, it's all man's doings. But praise God, glory, praise God, we got to get into the Bible. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, it's, 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 the, the Word of God, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. And praise God, because these people uh, are out there just making money wearing uh, purple and blue in their clothing, uh, the, the uh, Catholic priests and so forth and so on. And a lot of them know that they're on the way to hell. They know that, uh, that uh, they're doing wrong. And they know they're taking you to hell. Why? Because uh, they uh, work with their father, the devil, and uh, they know that they're doing wrong. And they don't want to turn away from it uh, because uh, why? Because uh, they uh, love it. You know, first God, they love making money. They love uh, walking in darkness. And uh, the Bible says that to him that knows to do right and does it not, to him it is sin. Well, first God says that these people, you know, they know there's a lot of people know to do right uh, in my first God, but they won't do it. You no, know, first God, when I was a sinner, my righteousness is uh, my righteousness I had as a sinner. I was as filthy rags and nostrils of God. No clergy, praise God, praise God. But now we're caught to be the righteous God in Christ Jesus, not my own righteousness, not having my own righteousness, but the righteousness which is of faith, but which come by hearing, hearing by the word of God, and the righteousness of uh, being doers of the, of the uh, 
Word of God, not just hear it only, deceiving myself, but doers of the Word of God. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. So be a doer if you want to make heaven, you want to meet Jesus in the air, be a doer of the Word. Start doing what he says. Man, let me keep my words, keep my commandments. And praise God, be a doer. Praise God, start uh, walking in the light as he is in the light. We have fellowship one with one with another in the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. You know, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. And Jesus said, go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon me. And that's works. Go and sin no more, because we're striving to enter in. Uh, praise God, that's it. Uh, we're like the athletes, striving to enter in. Uh, striving against sin. Praise God, that's it. Praise God, we're striving. You know, people say, why well, not try? Well, trying isn't striving. You know, praise God. Jesus said, then say, try to be holy. Try to be perfect. He said, uh, be ye therefore perfect. Matthew 5, 4, you. So praise God, hallelujah, praise God. So, amen, praise God. Finally, brother, be perfect. Get in the Word of God. Get in the Gospel of Christ. You know, praise God. Get in the, the, uh, the power of God and salvation. Praise God. And start believing. Amen, praise God. Amen. Believe the Gospel of Christ. Believe what's written in the Bible. Just don't believe what you hear on TV or in Sunday school because what you hear is absolute vanity. Uh, amen, praise God. That's it. And uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, the preacher in uh, uh, Solomon's days before he uh, went astray, you know, he said he sought to uh, uh, find uh, words, uh, proverbs, and uh, uh, words of God, you know, words of wisdom, you know, for this guy, he sought to, you know, uh, to get a sermon out of the Bible. And like today, they got their sermons already pre uh, pre planned and pre laid out, and uh, so forth, for three months and six months of sermons, and so forth and so on. They just carry in a black bag, and they don't have to read the Bible anymore because they don't want to read the Bible. And they have to spend millions of dollars and try to understand what the Greek says, and the Hebrew says, and the book they're not even interested in reading. So start reading your Bible, for this guy, stop. Being uh, interested in what the Pope has to say because he's got nothing to say to kiss the ground. And Mary and Protestants got nothing to say, and the Catholics and the, and the uh, Mormons, uh, so forth and so on, and Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, they got nothing to say, but I mean, first God, the Bible does, and that's why I got a lot to say because the Holy Ghost dwells in me. First God, of first God, every day doing what the Bible says. So, this is the evangelist Andrew Kelly. And then, and then uh, turn, you start reading the Word of God, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, and then first God, then start reading the Bible, and then the clergy, first God, hallelujah.